Welcome to Ludic Science. In this video I will show you this compressed air motor that is similar to another that I made in a previous video. But this new version works much better. First, I am using for a flywheel the plate of a hard drive that is mounted on high quality bearings. So it has a very smooth movement. And also, I am using a side range with an epoxy piston that also has a much smoother movement than the original plastic plunger of the side range. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. If you want to see the technique that I used to make the piston, in the description of this video I give you a link to another video where I describe how I made it. At the end of the piston shaft I have a small tube that I took from a common pen. The tube is inserted in this axis that I fixed using epoxy putty. The syringe has this wire glued so it can pivot on a small hole that I drilled on the corner of the hard drive. The air pressure comes from this hose that is glued to this aluminum plate that I took from an old heat sink. The other end of the hose is connected to the small tube that goes to the compressed air can. Let's see how it works. Okay, so there you have it. With an old hard drive and some other materials, you can build this compressed air engine or pneumatic engine for a school project or science fair, or just for fun. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next video.